Okay, so you can see I did the tree. I put some yellow ochres and some indigo. The back of the tree is dark, so I can put some dark back in here because the light is coming from this other direction. So the tree would have lighter on the right side and darker on the left side. So that gives me shadow. I also took the liner brush and I made some nice little twigs or things growing. Maybe that's in the rock. On this side, I added another little tree. I don't know if you can see him here. And then some more little black things. Another thing I did was take a little liner brush with some indigo and I went into the rocks and pulled it out into the water a little bit. Same with where the rocks are in the water. Put a shadow under them and the water is running. I just leave the light areas so you can see that's water. Okay, I wanna show you how to do some birds up in the sky here with liner brush. So I wet my brush, come over into my indigo, and make it like ink. Anytime you use a liner brush, you want your paint to look like ink so you can get a nice point. Okay, so this is called down, stop, push back for the body, and up and over. Okay, I'll do another one up here. Down, stop, push back, and up and over. See, they have a little body underneath them. Okay, maybe there's a little teeny bird right there. In that light area. Okay, I think I am very happy with this painting. And hopefully you will do it. Get your brushes out. I only use two brushes. I use a liner brush, number two, and a round brush, number six. Have your water, paper towel, paint all ready. Just like if you're gonna go cook, get your paint. I, got, I buy these little trays at the dollar store. They're wonderful. Um, have your paper. This is Stanford. Comes out of uh, the tablet called Stanford. 11 by 15, perfect. And when you frame it, it goes into a 16 by 20 glass frame. So there I am, and there's my painting. Okay, thank you. Have a good time painting. This is Carol Earl, signing out.